Hi guys, it is Denma here and I'm coming to you with a kind of haul type video. Typically hauls are over like a hundred dollars with the merchandise, but this one's a little bit different. This one it was a yard sale haul. Um, recently, a town close to us about 20 minutes away named Oriental, North Carolina, um, they had a town-wide yard sale. So. Lord forbid I got up early and me and my parents and John and Cody or Lazy and PC and Fluffy Cat and YouTube words, um, we all went and had a good time. We went to we took two different vehicles because that way my parents could go and come or I could go and come if like something happened and I couldn't really walk with my health issues. I couldn't keep going as long as they could. We wouldn't have to like stop the whole trip. But actually, it was like a really good day. I had, I walked probably a good two or three miles between everything. Um, so I got a lot of exercise, which was good. Um, I was definitely tired afterwards. And then we went out to eat at a um, southern style cooking family restaurant named Charlie's, which is really, really good food. So I'm going to show you all that I got from that haul. Well, most of it. A couple things we still got packed in my parents' van because I filled our trunk up in the town car. So, yeah. Um, I didn't spend that much. I think total maybe about $50. Um, and that's a lot for yard sale money. But, um, there's Chekhov in the background. Um, I'm also tomorrow going into town to get some curtain rods and I'm going to sew my own, um, backdrops instead of having these blinds that are like torn to shreds I'm just going to take those out uninstall them put the curtain rods up and make my own curtains that way I could just switch them out and just have a different background and have one that's like green if I want to try to do the green screen thing but um anyway that's good to tell what you came for was to see the haul so anyway first thing is this cute shirt this theme. Got this. Sorry for the saggy boobies. I am filming this at night right before I'm going to bed, so I am not wearing a bra, so forgive me. Um, I did not know if it was going to fit because it's a large, and usually large doesn't fit my tatas. So I'm glad it does. I got it anyway because I figured Cody could wear it for a sleepy time shirt or wear it to school because usually I'll get him like a men's small. If I see like a cat or something on it, and he can wear that. So that's that. And then I got these are from Great Wolf Lodge. Wolf ears. I actually wear these a lot because I have one little string of bangs that won't stay in the bun. So if it gets on my nerves, I got these cute little wolf ears to keep it in. So yeah, my inner furry coming out. But anyway, they had the emblem on the back. These were like 10 cents, so. Um, I've got every, it's all a mess over here in the corner. If you could just see, in the corner, that, it's a lot. But we really had a really good time. Plus we hit up the Salvation Army and the um, Habitat for Humanity. I'm gonna wear them for the video. I don't care. They're comfortable. I like them. I actually fell asleep in them once. So, but anyway, yeah, we visited the ha um, Habitat for Humanity and the Salvation Army. And like I said, we don't go to the hospice because they think their thrifting stuff is like gold. They charge for a used T-shirt like this three dollars. I got one that says um, Hump Day. It's got the camel on it. And I worked at Walmart at the time, and they charged me three dollars for it, and it was used. And you could tell it was used; it was worn because it was a navy shirt and it was faded. And I'm like, we sell this exact same shirt at Walmart for seven fifty. If I knew that cost going in, I wouldn't have bought it. I know it's going towards a good cost, but really that much? Salvation Army they sell these for fifty cents. That's where I got this one from. So, if you hear me owing, we do have new additions. Um over in Lazy PC's trailer, one of his cats, our cat's Katniss, 
had two babies. Both boys, one's an orange tabby, and one looks just like his mama, even with blue eyes. I know people say, they're, no, they're gray, they're gonna change. They are blue because they have like the pink reflection if you shine a light at them. In fact, she's laying down on the floor down here trying to nurse them. They are just starting to use the litter box and they're at like their full grown. Um, they haven't eaten um, solid food yet. I did give them a little bit of whipped cream though, so don't kill me. So, anyway, they're nursing. Oh, and that one just stepped in the, I had um, girl cheese and pasta for dinner and that one just stepped in it. Let's see if I can get one up here for you. Okay. All right, this one's the one that looks like the mama. There he is and his big blue eyes. And you can see he's got the orange ears, the orange little bit of his nose, and his orange on his tail is with flame point. His name is Quicksilver because he's mostly white. I'll put it back down there. This one is cute. I think he's gonna have gold eyes. Their daddy was an orange tabby, so. He looks like his daddy, and his name's Speedy, which I might change to Flash so I can have Marvel vs. DC names. So, yeah. Katniss! Come here. Come here, Katniss. Let's see if I can get her, their mama. Come here. She gets kind of grumpy. There's the mama. Say hey. So, I'm just borrowing them and making sure they get taken care of for the really, really good. She doesn't have to fight for food or anything over here. There's He has a bunch more cats over there and that way because they had two of the cats were mama, previously mama cats and they kept dragging the babies all off and he had to go hunt them down. So now they don't have to do that. So anyway, that was Katniss. She's not a very like lap kitty type. She's like, she wants affection on her terms. So anyway. Speaking of crazy cat lady, I got a lot of cat stuff in this um, little haul. Um, at one yard sale, I found this bucket, and they just gave it to me. And it's got it's the Hobbit, and it's got Philly Killy, Bilbo, all the good Hobbits, Thorin, and at the same yard sale, I, they had a. Um, little Rubbermaid container full of cat toys for five bucks. So I got them and my mom sold the Rubbermaid container so I figured this is the perfect thing to put the toys in. So I mean there's toys, there's string toys which Jelly Bean really likes this octopus. There's a green mouse that she has and she's looking at me now that she's already got out. Um, there was an unopened stocking, like a Christmas stocking full with 22 toys and then all the little jingly balls and there's one big one in here that has, still has a tag on it, and it's got feathers. I also at the yard sale got a stuffed animal, um, an owl stuffed animal for Charlie, which is one of my dad's, or my parents' dog. I got it because he likes to chew on stuffed animals, but this one didn't have any um, like eye, eyes in it. It was all just sewn. Like most stuffed animals have sewn in eyes. So anyway, I got that. And also at the Salvation Army, I picked up my son a Yokai watch book bag. It was brand new, still had the tags on it. It was two bucks and regularly ten dollars at Walmart. And I also went back. And for some reason, this Salvation Army uh, stopped putting their like kids meal toys and all those little knickknack toys in a table. They used to have that, and you could dig through it. They stopped doing that, and they just like separated it from boys from girls, and they bag them up and put like a dollar, dollar fifty depending on how many toys to put in there. And so I got him all three bags that they had of that because each one had like a bunch of SpongeBob toys and I'm like, oh, I can't just pick one. So I went through it before he went over to uh, Lazy, over to the trailer and took out three toys from my own personal collection. I got the rabbit from, or the Easter Bunny from Rise of the Guardians. He's a little faded. I'm gonna repaint him. I also got this Flazy piece. See, it's got um, some white stuff up here. I don't know what that is. It's it's not that type of white stuff. It's some kind of like candy or 
something. But I got saw this one, one of them, so I'm gonna clean him up, wash him off, and repaint him a little bit, give him some more details. Cause I used to paint Warhammer toys, or well not toys, but figures. I never actually played the game, but I liked getting the figures and painting it. It was very therapeutic to me. I've got a kitten climbing up my leg. Hold on. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's see. Why don't you go down here and see Cat Gar? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that and see if I can. Then I saw Ursula, so I got that one. Figured he don't care about that. And then the last one I took from him was this one, which I hate the Smurfs, but this is Clumsy Smurf. Says so in the bottom. Let's see, focus. It won't focus. Anyway, it says clumsy right there. There were a couple more Smurfs in there. Um, but this is the one Anton Yelchin voiced the first two movies. So I took this one. I probably freshen his paint too because it's the white it's got a couple of stuff marks and kind of dirty. So I think that might be a new hobby of mine. His getting like acrylic paint and like updating the toys and. Not reselling them or anything, just for fun. And then, let's see. Uh, the Salvation Army, I got this pen. I saw it in the counter. I'm like, ooh, I have to have that. It's gorgeous. It's actually like a heavy, heavy metal vintage pen. And we were trying to figure out what this was on the back. Turns out you pop this up and it actually has batteries in it, watch batteries and it plays music but of course the batteries are dead so I've got them out I'm gonna go get some more tomorrow to see if it still works if it doesn't it's still really pretty I thought why couldn't this have been out when I got went to see Beauty and the Beast that's it just really is reminiscent of Mrs. Potts and I was like oh that's so gorgeous it was two dollars but it was well worth it and then the yard sale part I couldn't see these they were 50 cents so I need to get a new CD player. I know your computer, my computer can play them, but it's just a pain in the butt to play them on my computer and run programs like World of Warcraft if I want to play that. It'll lag. So I'm just going to get a boom box and put it over on the counter and have it. So, and they're in really good shape. I don't know if I've actually. Okay, I listened to the, like, the songs that were released on MTV. And this song, see this track or record, but I've never actually heard the whole thing. This one I actually owned back in high school, so yeah, it was high school. I was trying to think if it was middle school, but it was high school. So, but that was lost when we moved, and then we stopped. There was a handmade jewelry person um, selling stuff, and I was looking, and you know I can't resist jewelry. Especially the necklaces. So I found this cool Day of the Dead type style skull necklace. And it's hand painted, all the good stuff. And it's just black and white. It's very simple. I figured this would go with most of what I wear anyway. Then Cody happens to see, I want one that so I can match mommy. So I was like, wait, John, you're paying for that because they were ten dollars. These were the most expensive things out of everything. Um, so, of course, they had a yellow one, so he got that one. So, and there's the detail on that one. It's got a hair in it. My hair's wearing it. Um, white teeth, obviously, yellow with red flower on the top and red detailing in the eyes. Yeah, if he wanted to match my John's like I wouldn't have gotten it for him if he didn't say the cute phrase I wanted to match mommy so and the bags are like hella cute that came in there it's like it got little shiny little butterflies on it I've never seen these bags but I'm sure you can get them at like Michael's or something but I have to find where because I need I need more of those in my life so I'm trying to get everything Ugh. Situated. All right. Next thing I got was a knockoff 
Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton purse. I saw Trisha Paytas have this in one of her um, vlogs where she was driving and talking. And I really like the pattern. And I happened to find this for three bucks at a yard sale. Pretty sure it's the knockoff because it doesn't have the Louis Vuitton logo or anything fancy on it. I don't even see a brand in there. But um, it's got placed, I put my cell phone in here instead of anything else. And then it's got a little pocket over there. I think these came out in the time of like flip phones. So that's what you're supposed to put in there. But it's just big enough to put my pump in. A little travel size body spray, a lipstick. And I have MAC Silver Spoon in here because I love that color. And then my wallet and coin purse. And since I couldn't, I got my EV up here and my hand sanitizer. Then I've got my little white cat, which legit her name is Poppy. That's the only reason why I got her. Let's see. Here it is, Poppy over here. Because I love watching Poppy. I'm Poppy. So anyway, I'm probably gonna put this on this one on my Eda bag that I just got in. So because it's got cat, it's black and white with cat um, fabric. But anyway, and it's got little feet, so you don't have to put it flat on the ground to get the bottom messed up. It's in really good shape. So I'm like my mom. My mom has two purses. We have, she has a purse she keeps on her with all like her checkbook, everything like that. And then she keeps another one in the bag that has like medicine or anything like that in it that she doesn't have to keep on her person. So I'll probably be the same way. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with my own Pokemon purse. I probably will keep it. I don't know. So, I might just put it up on eBay or Depop. I don't know. I haven't decided. So, let me keep that close. Because I saw some unicorn bookends that I wanted that I couldn't get. Because they, they didn't take ca um, debit or credit cards or checks. And that's all I had on me because I already spent my cash leaving the tip at restaurant so and my parents got me this it was 10 cents it's just a little itty bitty kitty cat and it goes with my other little bitty kitty cats I got at another place a thrift store and then it came with a little frame I think like it supposed to be like a tray to sit it on and okay it's a little girl with a bonnet like standing sideways I was like oh it's a headless person that's kind of creepy but no I'm guessing this this is supposed to go in a dollhouse or something but they just used it for a tray for the kitty so it's like oh I thought that was too because I love really really tiny figures like this I don't know why tinier I think it's cuter they have like ones from like the 60s and 70s that are like metal and they're really heavy and I have about like 12 of them and I've got like a koala a few cats and a dog and a couple other animals but they're hidden away in storage next thing is DVDs <laughs> this one place we went they had a ton of DVDs and books it's like they had the same taste I did so about a whole lot. They're supposed to be two dollars a piece, and the books were fifty cents a piece, which I got a bag full. But they're like, just give us twenty dollars for all of it. So that was pretty cool because I got two, four, six, ten, twelve, fourteen. So that would have been twenty-eight dollars just for DVDs by themselves. So I got the Incredibles because we don't have that yet on DVD. They had Ponyo. This is an amazing, amazing anime. Um, it's Disney, yeah, Disney owned now, because Disney owned Studio Ghibli. It's a weird take on The Little Mermaid, but it's so good, and you will have feels afterwards. So I highly recommend it. Oh, I brought that one over by accident. It's my old, my ghost adventures. Um, then they had, it was funny, I was just talking to a friend on Facebook about this movie. They were asking where, the opening scene was posted on Facebook and they were asking what movie it was from. I told them and I happened to find it at the yard sale the next day. So I was like, yeah, I love 
campy horror movies like that and 13 Ghosts and House on Haunted Hill. Like the old Vincent Price like feel to them. And then of course Poseidon. So that. And then they have one hour photo. If you have not seen this one, this one is an amazing movie. It's a thriller type. It's not really gory or anything. Um, with Robin Williams in it. It's one of his few roles that he's not like a comedic person. So really, really good movie. House of Thousand Corpses. I think we have this one, but I wasn't sure, but I got it anyway. And the unrated cut of The Strangers. I was actually looking for this on the Pirate Bay, and I couldn't find it. So, and this is Winter's Bone. It's got Jennifer Florence in it. Then I got Shudder because I don't think, I can't remember if I've seen this or not. Um, I know the premise of it, but I don't think I've actually seen it, and it's unrated. And these people that were selling these were like in their 50s, so I'm like, they had really good taste. I got signs, because I had this at one point, and something got put on it, and it screwed it up, or actually, no, somebody stepped on the case, and the case broke and damaged the DVD, because somebody put the DVD in backwards and scratched it, so... Oh, there's a booklet inside. It's like it feels heavier than just DVD. Oh, I got deleted scenes. I've never seen the deleted scenes. That'll be cool. And I haven't seen this Limitless. I've heard this is good. So, Bradley Cooper's in it, so whatever. And Tinkerbell, just because. I also got the Savvy Charmy. I didn't bring it over, but um, I got a Tinkerbell. It's a full-size comforter. So, I'm going to go on Amazon and find the sheets set to that. Usually I'll do that, I'll find a comforter or like a sheet set of, of a yard sale or thrift store and then I'll go on Amazon and find the matching other set to it, the rest of it. So I've got that and the Kylo Ren comforter I have to find for the new Star Wars. So I got the Kylo Ren um, sheet set for $13 on clearance at Walmart. So, And the last DVD I got was Green Lantern Extended Cut. I know it was horrible. I've seen it once, um, but what the heck, man? It's the Blu ray digital copy and DVD, so I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like in Blu ray. It probably will look really good in Blu ray. So that was all the DVDs. Stuffed animals. I got three. I got this cute little squirrel, and he's got Velcro hands and Velcro ears on the back of his ears, so maybe at one point they stuck together, and maybe he had an acorn that he would hold, but otherwise he just looks like this now. He's really cute. He was like 10 cents. I was like, y'all. And I got a cat carrier. <laughs> Random. I know, but that was like the first thing I bought was a cat carrier. And I bought my mom a Southern Living Annual Cookbook. That was from 1984, which is when I was born. I was like, that's the best year, so. Um, and then, this official Disney store, Sully, because I like Sully, so I really don't care about Monsters, Inc. But I like his color scheme, and it's just so soft, and yeah, that's about it. And then I saw this, I'm like, oh, this looks like Toto. And it's from that Aurora brand that I have um, a giant cat of. And it's really floppy and soft and cute. So I went on Amazon and looked at it. It actually is called Floppy Toto. He runs for, I think it was $10.97 on Amazon still. And they have plenty of them. So he's so cute. He's black. And there's little brown sprigs of hair throughout his fur. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but... I was like, oh, and this changes the game because I was going to go as Moana this year for Halloween and get a spray tan because I've never done that. But I might go as Dorothy since I have a Toto now. So. Oh. Over here. I really were. I also got this big Simba. It's actually a puppet. It's 
see if I can get I actually found two of them at the Goodwill. It was on a different date though, so technically it doesn't count. But they were $3 a piece, and I had them on each hand, because like I said, they're puppets. I was looking through the Goodwill, and I gave one to my son, because he loves cats. I don't think he's actually seen the Lion King, or he's seen the Lion Guards, so that's close enough. Um, but yeah. The cat's like sleeping on Simba, I guess because he's big, and he's not covered up with other stuffed animals. So. The last thing is the books. I got a bag full of books. Alright. First one I got was To Kill a Mockingbird because we never read that in my class. I mean, a lot of people said they were required to read it, but I was never required to read it, so I went ahead and got it. So I could read it. What up? Yeah. Yeah. There goes. Your mommy's over there. Oh, you're rolling your sleep in my bedroom slipper. Oh gosh, you are heavy. You must have just drank some water. Alright, anyway. Then I got this paranormal romance. I'm a big paranormal romance or paranormal in general book reader. Um, werewolves, vampires, witches, ghosts. Um, I'm starting to get into the horror genre because I didn't really realize or not realized but I didn't think about actually reading horror books so I'm like this whole new world has opened up I'm like oh my gosh so if you have any recommendations for good paranormal or horror stories books like that I can get online like on Kindle or just paperbacks let me know in the comments because I would love to check them out first one's called Stray it's about a girl who's a weird cat it is 617 pages long it doesn't really look like it. Then I got this. I actually used to watch Ghost Hunters before um, Grant left. And then they split up um, Steven and. It wasn't Dustin, was it? No, it was Steven and Dave. They. S Steven or Steve went with and was like almost like promoted and was tack partnered up with. Um, <laughs> Jason. So, and it just lot, and then Amy Rooney and um, Adam Berry left, and I'm like, the the chemistry was not there anymore. Like, you you watched it to see the their evidence or lack thereof, and then the, the banter back and forth between, I liked Amy, like I said, Amy Rooney, Stephen, D um, Dave Tango, and then Jason and Grant. It's like. But this book was released back when that was they were all there. Then I got Carolyn Sparks, who is a big um, paranormal romance type author. Um, Eat, Pray, Love, and it is a shapeshifter, of course, who finds a beautiful woman amidst the darkness. Then I got this Radiant Shadows. The, the cover just looked really cool, so. Um, this is about fairy people. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. You don't see too many books with fairies um, in a, nowadays. And then I got the um, Golden Compass, His Dark Materials, the trilogy all in one book. It's very worn, it's very long. So, and then I got The Lightning Thief. And I got the old cover. They did have one with the movie cover. But I was like, no, because that one might have left some of the tidbits from the original book out to go with the movie. So I was like, let me get the original. So I got that. And then I got The Bridge of Terabithia because I've never seen the movie. And the book is really, really short. So it's like The Giver. I don't know how they made or The Great Gatsby, too. It's like, how did they make a movie out of a book this short? But I hear this movie gives you feels. And that it looks like it's going to be like a nice young adult fantasy movie type thing. But the end, there's a twist ending or something. I don't know. And it's really sad. So I will be finding out. And the last thing I got, I buried under everything. I got this from the Salvation Army. It is uh, just a crazy cat lady blanket. But 
Usually these aren't very soft, but this one was really soft, so I use it as my head blanket because I do this. And I wrap my head up and I cover my eyes and that's all you see when I sleep. So yeah. <laughs> that is it, I believe. Don't forget, we have a Patreon page now. Um, if you want to help contribute to help us out financially, um, there are rewards for all levels. It's like from a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, all the way up to I think seventy-five dollars. But there are a lot of goodies. Um, hopefully, there's um, print and just thank you notes. Cody want, said he wanted to participate, so he said he'll draw you pictures. And I also whip out my drawing tablet and draw a picture, picture or write you a fanfic with your OTP on it for the, the donation amount or whatever. So I haven't posted anything to Patreon yet because I don't have any patrons. But once I do, then we'll start posting up there more. Um, like I said, don't feel obligated. We have that. We have the P.O. Box. If, like I said, if you, if you know of any good paranormal books anyway out on the internet, put them down in the link below or in the comments below. Um, but that's about it. Any movie recommendations, especially horror, put them in the, the comments below. I love to hear um, any type of paranormal one. I've seen a bunch of them. I've seen a lot. So I'm looking for like more like indie ones so but anyway that will be all for tonight i will see you later i hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you may be um stay safe and i will see you in the next video hopefully we'll get lazy and pc in here and we've got a couple of videos planned together um he for some reason his leg is locking up on him and it's hard for him to walk or do anything so but I've got a couple fun videos I've already talked with him about and doing. Fingers crossed. I will see you guys later. I will stop rambling. You know that I'm good at that. And bye bye. Mm -hmm.